the walk has. Today we're at journal page 50, cubic transformations. f of x equals negative a parentheses negative bx minus h cubed plus k. When the negative is in front of the a, it reflects over the x-axis. When a is greater than 1, it's a vertical stretch. When a is greater than 0 but less than 1, it's a vertical compression. When the negative is inside the parentheses in front of b, it reflects over the y-axis. When b is greater than 0 but less than 1, it's a horizontal stretch. When b is greater than 1, it's a horizontal compression. When it's plus h, it translates left. When it's minus h, it translates right. When it's plus k, it translates up. When it's minus k, it translates down. Okay, so if you would, complete your cubic notes or transformation notes. All right, now let's take a look at cube root transformations. Uh, also on page, journal page 50. f of x equals negative a, the cube root of negative bx minus h plus k. When the negative in front of the a reflects over the x-axis, when a is greater than 1, it's a vertical stretch. When a is greater than 0, but less than 1, it's a vertical compression. When the negative is in front of the b inside of the cube root, it reflects over the y-axis. When b is greater than 0, but less than 1, it's a horizontal stretch. When b is greater than 1, it's a horizontal compression. When it's plus h, it translates left. When it's minus h, it translates right. When it's plus k, it translates up. When it's minus k, it translates down. Okay, if you would. Update your cube root transformation notes. All right, now let's take a look at these examples. Okay, graphing cube and cube root functions by transformation. Name the function, graph the function, describe the transformation, and then state the domain and range. Okay, and I think I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. All right, example one. Okay, now to understand the graphing directions of the cubic function, let's add a note card to our notes, okay? This is the cubic parent function. When f of x equals x cubed, and you have x and f of x, when negative 2, well, negative 2 cubed equals negative 8. When x is negative 1, negative 1 cubed is negative 1. When h is 0, 0 cubed is 0, which is k. When x is 1, 1 cubed is 1. When x is 2, 2 cubed is 8. Okay? So these are the points of the parent function, but we're going to use these as our direction. Okay? Now, let's first move the vertex. Okay? So the minus 1 moves it right 1, down 1. So then that's right 1, down 1, our new vertex. Okay? Now, using our notes here, we know that this is negative 2, negative 8, negative 1, negative 1. We don't have enough room, but we could write h and k, but let's just put 1, 1, and 2, 8. If we had room, we'd put the h and k, okay? But we don't. These are the more important points that we need, okay? So from our vertex, we go left 2 down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Left 1 from the vertex, left 1 down 1. And then from the vertex, right 1 up 1. And then from the vertex, right 2 up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Now, domain of range is easy. It's always negative infinity to positive infinity and negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, transformations. We have, it looks like, 1, 2. So we have right one unit and we have down one unit. Okay. All right, let's take a look at example two. Okay. So first off, we need to move the vertex. So that means we go left one, up two. So left one, up two is our new vertex. Okay. Now we're going to graph by direction, which we know are negative two, negative 1, 1 and 2, 
And I'm going to move this line over. I think we need more space here. Okay, the reason being is we need to multiply the y direction by negative 1. But first off, we know it's negative 8, negative 1, 1, and 8. Okay, let me repeat it. The reason why we moved it over is because we need space, because we need to multiply all of these by negative 1. So times negative 1, times negative 1, times negative 1, times negative 1. So that's positive 8 positive 1, negative 1, and negative 8. Okay? So from the vertex, we go left 2, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. From here, we go left 1, up 1, right 1, down 1, and right 2, down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, domain, again, is always negative infinity to positive infinity and negative infinity to positive infinity for range. Transformations, I count one, two, three. So reflect x axis. We have left. one unit and up to units. Okay, go ahead and finish with example two. Actually example one and two if you like. All right, now let's take a look at example three. Okay, so we're gonna graph by direction and that's where this will come in handy because now we're doing cube root, okay? So our directions are negative 8, negative 2, negative 1, negative 1, 1, 1, 8, 2. Okay? So negative 8, negative 2, negative 1, negative 1, 1, 1, 8, 2. Okay? But before we do anything else, let's move a vertex. So that means we go left three, down one. So left one, two, three, down one. That's our new vertex. Okay. But here we have to multiply the y direction by two. So times two. So that's negative four, negative two, positive two, and positive four. Okay, so from here we go left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, down 1, 2, 3, 4, so right here. Okay, then we go left 1, down 2, right 1, up 2, and then right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, domain is easy, neg infinity to positive infinity, range is neg infinity to positive infinity. Transformations, I count one, two, three. So we have a vertical stretch of two, left three units, and down one unit. Okay, finish up example three. All right, example four. Okay, let's move the vertex. So it's to the right one, up two. Now let's graph directions, which we know are negative eight, negative one, one, eight. Negative two, negative one, one, 2, 
And again, we see here we need to multiply all of those by negative 3. So that's times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. So that's a positive 6, a positive 3, a negative 3, and a negative 6. So from here we go left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let me count that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we go left 1, up 1, 2, 3. Right 1, down 1, 2, 3. Then right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, domain and range are easy, neg infinity to positive infinity, neg infinity to positive infinity. All right, transformations, I count one, two, three, four. So reflect x axis, vertical stretch of three. Right one unit and up two units. Okay, go ahead and finish up example three and four. All right, let's take a look at example six. Okay, now we're going to graph the cube, cube root inequality of transformations. Okay. So the vertex moves down one, and then we know for cubic, the directions are negative two, negative eight, negative one, negative one, h, k, one, one, two, eight. Now in graphing by directions, if you have space, you wanna write the h, k, but if you didn't, like in these, if you don't have room, you don't need to write the h and k, okay? So from here we go left two, down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left one, down one. Right one, up one. Right two, up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now there's no line underneath, so it's a dashed line. Okay. It's greater than, so we shade above. And let's keep our shading all in this region. Let me see, I overshaded that just to give space, but then I can go back and delete, erase. That's what cleans it up a little bit. Okay. Now I got bullets on blurry that a little bit. All right. Now, example seven. Okay. Move the vertex that meets the right one, two, three. And then directions we know for cubic are negative eight, negative two, negative one, negative one, 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 eight, two. So from here we go left one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down two. Left one, down one. Right one, up one. Right one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up two. Now there's a line in so it's a solid line. And since it's less than, we shade below. And then up a little bit. All right. So if you would, go ahead and finish up your examples, start working on your assignment, and have a wonderful Wildcat day.